Hello, Chris from My Stamp Lady here, and are you looking for a gift idea? This is with made with the envelope liner framelits, and I made up, now it's kind of interesting because this is Christmas colors, Christmas theme, but then I made up some cards that were not Christmas themed, but Christmas colors. And I have six little three by three envelope, three by three cards and six little white envelopes. And this little package I made is perfect. I can even just put them off center a little bit and to hold my little cards. This purpose of this video is not the little cards, nor is it the decorating in the front, but to show you how to make this little envelope with your pattern paper because um, we have lots of pattern paper, at least I do, to use up. So let's get started with this and I'll show you how to make it. Is you need thing. the envelope framelits and you can make whichever side envelope liner framelits. You can make whichever size you want out of these. Um, this one I'm using, oh, with this one I'm using the largest die to make the size that I showed you. So the first thing I do is I took a piece of 6 by 12 inch pattern paper, folded it in half. Now I'm going to pull in my magnetic platform. I have one piece on the bottom and then I'm putting down my 6, well, um, by 12 paper folded in half. Here's the fold line. It's important that you know where that is. I'm going to take the little raised edge part down and then we will just put that over it. Now this is just below the top here and notice that I have some space. I don't want to cut that little fold line or else I'll have two pieces. So you want to make sure you have it lined up where you have a little bit of space at the bottom and it's just below the top going to place down my other acrylic pad and I'm going to run that through the big shot. Okay, so now I've cut that out and I have a piece that looks like this. Here's my center fold that I did not cut out and my sides. I'm going to pull in my stamp and trimmer and I'm going to use the light gray one or the scoring one. I'm going to line up right here this point right there and then go down and I'm lining this up with the cutting slot and then let's line that one up there and we're going to score that. Repeat on the other side, line up this spot there and this with the cutting pad and score. Okay now I need to do is I need a little gusset on the bottom so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make it so that I have a little fold here. How I did that is I took this fold line and I just used the edge here. I just placed it right at the very edge here making sure it's straight and then I'm going to go down and score. So I've scored on one side of it. Now I'm going to move the same center edge over to the other side making sure it's straight and lined up. And so basically I have just scored on each side. Okay, so now what I need to do is just fold these lines. So I'm going to fold the side, my bone folder. Let's fold the other side. And then I need to fold the new lines that I made, not the center one. And then let's fold the other one here. Okay, so now I have something that looks like this. It's a little easier to see on the green side, so that's what I'm going to show you. The other side's kind of busy. A uh, middle spot for that for my bottom fold. Okay, let me grab a pair of scissors here and I'm going to just cut here and here and notice I'm cutting it a little bit on an angle and that way it will fold a whole lot easier. Repeat on the other side and I'm cutting on the two outside folds. Leave that center fold alone. Don't worry about that center fold. Okay, so now I have this piece, this piece, the center, and the two sides. So now I want to just bring this together and put that glued on the side like that. So let's take some glue. I'm going to use some liquid glue. There we 
There we go. Now you're going to repeat on the other side. You can also use sticky strip, and so I'm going to show a sample using the sticky strip. Just put your sticky strip along here. The benefit of using sticky strip is that you don't have to wait for drawing time, which sometimes is a very good benefit. Pull the top off my sticky strip, put that down like that, put my sticky side down, and then just put those sides overlapping. There you go. Look at that. And you have a little... Okay, so now I'm going to take my top part, make sure my um, flaps are lined up, taking the wide oval punch, and let's just go in. I'm just kind of eyeballing it in the center to get my little handle piece. And that's it. That's how you make this little bag, mini bag, with the envelope liners. Now if you want to, another way to do this is you could make a flat one. If you don't need the depth or the width there, just make a flat one. And to do that, I just cut off the sides. Let's put a little bit of adhesive, glue adhesive down the side. I cut off, so I cut off the bottom part and the two edges, put some adhesive on there, and then just put that down. And now I have a flat one and you can slip something much thinner in there gift card or some type of gift so those are your two options you can make the one with the little gusset or the side give it a little depth or make it flat so then after you have put your gift in there just like this let's slip that in there decorated the front grab a little piece of ribbon I'm using the cherry seam binding here and let's tie a little bow. Put the bow over on this side. And doesn't that make a fun, cute gift? Now these envelope liners are designed to go inside of a pre-made envelope also. So I took a six by six piece with the largest framelit, cut it down, and then what you do is you just take it, slip it into a pre-made envelope, just like this. I line it up with the where I want it to slide over, just underneath the adhesive. So I'm just lining the top up just underneath the adhesive. And what I do is I just take it and fold it over, give it a little press with my bone Don't worry folder. About putting adhesive on the bottom part, but I'm just going to put some adhesive there. Let's fold that over. There you go. And now you've got a beautifully lined envelope, a purchased one. So if you have any questions about what I've done here today, don't hesitate to ask. Chris at MyStamps for watching. Com.